When we say lag in Second Life, it refers to various things that slow down your experience. And rendering lots of complex avatars around you certainly does that. That's why we've introduced avatar rendering complexity tools so you can be aware of and adapt to the performance impact other avatars have on you and vice versa. Let's have a look. We're here at a club with lots of avatars around. Let's go under the hood and see everyone's avatar complexity scores. Go to Me menu, Preferences, click the Advanced tab and click Show Advanced Menu. Let's also go to General tab and turn Name Tags off because what we're going to see next gets a bit cluttery. Click OK. Then go to Advanced Menu, Performance Tools, click the double lines to make the menu float, then click Statistics bar and Show Avatar Complexity Information. Let's close this. Now we have an FPS graph, that's frames per second, where higher is smoother and better. Also, everyone has numbers floating above them, and the top one is the complexity. Basically, higher scores mean these avatars are relatively slower to render, depending on your computer system. But now, you can control your experience. So, hover over this screen icon. These are your graphics quick change presets, and here's how to make one. Click Open Graphics Preferences, then click Advanced Settings. See this maximum complexity slider? Let's drag it to the left and watch. As we scale this down, certain avatars will be rendered as solid colored outlines while frame rate goes up. Now, obviously, you'll want to find a balance that feels right for you and doesn't look too weird depending on the circumstances, whether you're socializing, creating, or exploring. And the cool thing is, you can save this and all the nitty-gritty graphics preferences as a quick change preset. As an example, if you wanted even more performance gains without too many solid color outline avatars, you could decrease the number of non-avatar imposters. Click OK, then click Save Settings as a preset. Give it a name, like Clubbing, and click Save. Now, notice your presets right here and you can switch between presets at any time with a simple click. You're also able to manually control whom you want to render by right-clicking on their avatar and overriding the default with Do Not Render or Always Render Fully. One more thing for now, you might be wondering, if you've got the advanced performance tools hidden, how do you see your own avatar complexity so you know you're doing good for the environment and not lagging others too much? Well, anytime you add or remove an attachment or even wear an outfit, you'll see the score updated right here. Occasionally, you may see notices that alert you when your complexity is causing you to not be fully seen by those around you. For further technical specifics and details, be sure to check out our accompanying knowledge base article. Have fun in Second Life!